All right, let me tell you, boys and girls, it has been a long time since I have posted anything on YouTube, but that's because, hey, I got to make a living. You know that? I got a lot of work I've been doing. But um, one thing that I wanted to do here, by the way, Ken Walker here with GetPhotoshopTraining.com, little shameless plug for my website there. By the way, if you want to learn how to do photo retouching, you know, glamorization, that kind of thing, check out my website. I got a 13-hour course there. And this is May 12th, 2009, right now. Okay, I'm going to record this video, edit it, and post it today within two weeks. Right now, that 13-hour training is $97. Within two weeks, I kid you not, I promise you, that training is going to be $275 because we're just doing kind of like a little pre-launch promo thing and the site's going to get totally redone. It's going to get put out on really nice DVD packaging, the full-blown thing, and it's going to be $275 for all 13 hours. You can pick it up as a download right now for $97. Only two weeks left, okay? Uh, anyhow, shameless plug over with. Now let's get on to the tutorial. Something that people ask me about frequently is, hey, Ken, how can you take a photograph, a color photograph, and really quickly turn it into line art, just black and white line art like somebody drew it? And I've got a killer technique for accomplishing this very thing that I want to share with you. So first thing we're going to do is duplicate the background. I'm going to do Control-J. And I'm actually going to do this twice. This would be Command-J on the Mac. Uh, and what we're going to do is convert each one of these duplicate layers into a desaturated version. So we're going to do Control-Shift-U, and that would be Command-Shift-U on the Mac. I'm going to do the same thing to this layer, Control-Shift-U, just because you'll see why that comes into play here in a minute. And we're going to turn this layer off. That's our original background layer. Now the top layer, we're going to invert this. And you do that with Control-I, Command-I on the Mac. Make it look like a negative thing, like it's whacked, right? And we're going to change the blend mode for this. And this is going to make it look even more whacked. We're going to go to Color Dodge. And uh-oh, it made the whole thing disappear. It wasn't supposed to happen. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it, it hasn't actually disappeared. Check, it th check this out. Um, let's go ahead and hit Escape to turn that off. We're going to go up to Filter, Other. It looks like it has disappeared, right? But take it by faith, my friend. You will be a believer in a moment. We're going to go to Minimum. And look at that. Came back nice and slick looking. You play with the radius here. If you go too far to the right, you know, your lines get kind of fat. But uh, you just find something that, depending on what you're going for here, I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and go OK with that. Now, one thing we can do, and this is pretty neat, like a lot of people would leave it just like this because it does look like somebody just kind of hand drew this, right? And trust me, this is the best technique that I have found at all for turning a photograph into line art. Uh, one thing we can do, though, is do Control-E, Command-E on the Mac to merge those two layers. And the reason for that is I'm going to turn this layer back on. We can take this uh, line art version and throw it into a luminosity blend mode. What that does give us is a little bit of the color back into it, not still a photograph, right? But kind of like a watercolor type illustration, but a little bit nicer even. This is Ken Walker. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. You can check out more of my training. Again, 13-hour course. Come on, folks. $97. Super high quality stuff. Uh, learn how to do all kinds of retouching and basically use Photoshop uh, from beginning to end. I kind of market it as a retouching and glamorization restoration type course. But honestly, you will learn all kinds of Photoshop stuff there. Okay, GetPhotoshopTraining.com. I'll see you next time.